treatment of sinus infection and risk factors. Your sinuses are cavities that make mucus drain out of the nose, and sinus inflammation can cause infection. Sinuses drain out of your nose, and it stays clean. But when blocked, fluid can build up and cause infection in your sinus. Sinus infection can occur because of conditions such as structural issues in the nose. Treatment of Sinus Infection Medicines can help in many cases of sinusitis, but in some cases, they may go away on their own without any medical treatment. If you often get the condition, many treatment options will also help you prevent it. Antibiotics Antibiotics help eliminate a sinus infection by attacking the bacteria that cause it, but until the drugs take effect, they do not do much to alleviate symptoms. Some over-the-counter medications can help provide relief. Antibiotics are usually taken from 3 to 28 days, depending on the type of antibiotic. Because the sinuses are deep-seated in the bones, and blood supply is limited, longer treatments may be prescribed for people with longer-lasting or severe cases. Overuse and abuse of antibiotics have been causing a major increase in antibiotic resistance. Therefore, patients with sinus symptoms should consider taking an antibiotic only if symptoms including discolored nasal discharge persist beyond 7 to 10 days. Nasal decongestant sprays Topical nasal decongestants can be helpful if used for no more than 3 to 4 days. These medications shrink swollen nasal passages, facilitating the flow of drainage from the sinuses. Overuse of topical nasal decongestants can result in a dependent condition in which the nasal passages swell shut, called the rebound phenomenon. Antihistamines Antihistamines block inflammation caused by an allergic reaction, so they can help to fight symptoms of allergies that can lead to swollen nasal and sinus passages. Nasal decongestants and antihistamines Over-the-counter combination drugs should be used with caution. Some of these drugs contain drying agents that can thicken mucus. Only use them when prescribed by your allergist. Painkillers Many people with sinusitis take over-the-counter pain medicines, like ibuprofen or acetaminophen, to ease discomfort. Steroids In some cases, the doctor may prescribe inhaled steroids to bring down the swelling in the sinus membranes. For tough cases of chronic sinusitis, you may need to take steroids by mouth. Bioelectronic Sinus Device This device works by using microcurrents to stimulate nerve fibers in your sinuses. Over the counter, it helps reduce sinus inflammation, pain, and congestion. Topical nasal corticosteroids Nasal sprays prevent and reverse inflammation and swelling in the nasal passages and sinus openings, addressing the biggest problem associated with sinus infection. Topical nasal corticosteroid sprays are also effective in shrinking and preventing the return of nasal polyps. These sprays at the normal dose are not absorbed into the bloodstream and could be used over long periods of time without developing addiction. Sinusitis Nasal Washing Nasal rinses can help clear thickened secretions from the nasal passages. Nasal washing treatment will flush out your sinuses and temporarily relieve your symptoms. It's a simple remedy but does need to be done with care. You can make a homemade saline solution from a mixture of salt and water. But do not use tap water. It can contain tiny amounts of germs, pesticides, and other unwelcome substances that are safe to drink, but don't belong in your nose. They can cause serious, even fatal, infections. Surgery If drug therapies have failed, surgery may be recommended as a last resort. It is usually performed by an otolaryngologist. Anatomical defects are the most common target of surgery. 
Your surgeon can fix defects in the bone separating the nasal passages, remove nasal polyps, and open up closed passages. Sinus surgery is performed under either local or general anesthesia, and patients often can go home on the same day. Risk factors for sinusitis Sinusitis often occurs when mucus blocks the openings of your sinuses. Anyone can develop sinusitis or a sinus infection. However, certain health conditions and risk factors can increase your chances. Risk factors include A previous cold Nasal allergies Asthma Nasal polyps Deviated septum A weakened immune system Smoking Stay tuned for more valuable content. Subscribe to SF Healthcare for more information about sinuses.